Welcome to Mathematics Mastery with Bethel, your mathematics teacher. Ready to conquer maths? Let's get started. Welcome to Better Mathematics Academy. So today I want to be showing you how to solve problems on angle of elevations and angle of depressions. First of all, for you to understand the meaning of angle of elevations and angle of depression, you must first understand what we mean by normal. When we walk on the street, we look forward. The direction of our sight while we walk is what we are going to be referring to as the normal. Angle of elevation is the angle our upward sight makes with the normal. That is to say, this is your normal, normal looking direction, and then you decide to look up this way. This is your upward look. Then this is your upward look has made an angle theta with this normal. So this angle is what we refer to as angle of elevation. If I draw a vertical line to connect the upper side and the normal, then a right angle triangle has been formed. You can call here A, you can call here B, you can call here C. So because there is, an, there is an angle in this right angle triangle, this line AB facing our angle is called our opposite. While line AC facing angle 90 degree is called our hypotenuse. Then why the line CB that is remaining is called our adjacent. Now let's look at angle of depression. To determine the angle of depression, first of all, we consider our normal. Remember your forward look, horizontal line, that is your normal. Okay. Now, if you decide to look downward, that is the direction, look at an object here, then the angle or downward side makes with the normal is what we refer to as angle of depression. If I decide to, if I decide to connect the normal with your downward side, then you discover that a right angle triangle has been formed here. So this is the right angle triangle. So let's call here A, let's call here B, and let's call here our C. So this is what we, this is the result we get in that of angle of depression. So let's take practical examples to illustrate further angle of elevations and angle of depressions. Okay, so question number one, the angle of elevation to the top of a tower from point 42 meter away from its base on level land ground is 36 degree. Find the height of the tower. Okay, so here a tower is mentioned. So we would like to represent the tower with a vertical straight line. This is the base of the tower and then and that becomes our normal line so for an angle of elevation to take place it's going to take place from this point down to the top of the tower and they said that that angle of elevation is from the question 36 degree and the distance from the base of the of the tower to where the angle of elevation happened is 42 meter so the question said we should find the height of the tower. So this is the tower, and this is the height H. So let's call here A, let's call here B, and let's call here C. So this is a typical right-angled triangle. To solve this problem, we make use of the trigonometric functions, the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. So we look for the one that best relates the given side and the required side. Since this is the given angle, the line facing the angle is called our opposite. The line AB facing angle 90 degree is our hypotenuse, while line BC is our adjacent. To find the value of our H, which is the height of the tower, we simply use the trigonometric ratio that relates our opposite and adjacent. Of course, if you are familiar with the popular mnemonic, so katoa, it helps us to easily remember them. So katoa. It simply means that in a right angle triangle, that the sine of the of the given angle is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle. Then the cosine of an angle of a given angle in a right angle triangle is equal to the adjacent of that triangle divided by the hypotenuse of that triangle. And the tangent of a given angle in a right angle triangle is equal to the opposite of that right angle triangle 
divided by the adjacent of that right angle triangle. Okay, so this, this is the given angle in our question. And so this line facing the angle is our opposite, while this other line is our adjacent. So we're going to use the tangent of an angle because we are dealing with opposite and adjacent. So we're going to be using tan to solve the problem. So we can now say, but tan theta is equal to, according to this, opposite over adjacent. So what is theta here? Theta is our given angle, 36 degrees. So we can now say tan 36 degree is equal to our opposite. What is our, what is our opposite here? H divided by our adjacent. What is our adjacent here? 42. So we can say here is over 1 and we cross multiply. So H times 1 is H. This is equal to 42 times tan. This is 42 times tan 36 degree. Okay. So you can use a four figure table to read up the value of tan 36 degree. Just simply read 36 under zero. Yes, we read it up. Just locate for 36 degree in the vertical axis and then locate it under zero in the horizontal axis. And then use it to multiply 42. You are going to get 30.5 meters. So that becomes our answer. So, so let's take example number two. So the question says, from the top of a building 50 meter high, okay, let's represent our building with a vertical line. And the height of this building is 50 meter. Okay. Now the question says, the angle of depression, of course, once angle of depression has been mentioned, it means the, the looking was downward. Okay, so first of all, let's figure out our normal. This is our normal. A downward look was made. A downward look was made this way, resulting in an angle of depression of 55 degrees. Find the distance of the car from the foot of the building. Okay, so of, of course this was where the car was. This was where the car was. So someone stood there, someone looked from this place to this car, making an angle of depression of 55 degrees with the normal. Okay, so let's complete our drawing by completing our right angle triangle. Okay, so this is where the building is. This is where the car is. And the question said we should find the distance of the building from the car. Under angles of depression, once you have made your angle of depression with the normal, always note that this normal line and this line are parallel. So I can put this sign to show you that they are the same line, they are parallel. So if they are parallel, this angle is the same thing as the angle here. 55 degree. Why? Since these two lines are parallel, then this angle and this angle are called alternate angle. So that is why if here is 55 degree, here must also be 55 degree. Then we have gotten our right angled triangle. Now, if this is the given angle, then here is our opposite. Then here is our adjacent. Of course, this line remains our hypotenuse. So what connects opposite and adjacent is still the tan theta. So we can say both tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, so this simply means that tan 55, 55 degree is equal to opposite. Our opposite is what? 50 meter divided by our adjacent is what? X. I can say over 1. Then what I will do next is to cross multiply. So this times this will give me x tan 55 degree, which is equal to 1 times 50 will give me what? 50. So what I will do next is to divide both sides by tan. I want x to stand alone because that is what we are looking for. The distance between the foot of the building and the car. Dividing both sides by tan 55, I want x to stand alone. So x is equal to 50 divided by tan 55. Okay, so x is equal to, if you are using calculator, you can just punch 50 divided by tan 55. If you are using four figure table, just read up the value of 55 in your tangent 
uh, table angles in degrees. So use the value you get to divide 50 and you get your answer. Or if you're using calculator, just punch 50 divided by 10, 55. Your answer is going to be 30.0 meter. So that means the distance between the car and the foot of the building is 30 meters. Let's look at example number three. So in this question number three, a 14 meter ladder is used to scale a 30 meter wall at what angle of elevation must the ladder be situated in order to reach the top of the wall ladder will definitely lean on the wall so the ladder becomes our hypotenuse then this is the wall let's represent the wall with a vertical line so this is the angle of elevation the ladder makes with the floor as with the normal so this is our angle 90 degrees so this is the wall let's call here a let's call here b let's call here c so this angle of elevation is theta, and that is what we are asked to find. And we are told that the, the, the ladder is what? 14 meters. And we used to scale a wall of 13 meters. So our wall is what? 13 meters. So we are looking for the value of the angle of elevation. The ladder must be kept in order to get to the top of the, of the wall. Okay, so this is the required angle. So this is the line facing the required angle. So this line is our opposite. This is our hypotenuse. Of course, opposite has been mentioned. Hypotenuse has been mentioned. Remember our so ka toa. So we are looking for the one that relates opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse, that is our sign. So we're using our sine theta, but sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so therefore so that means that sine theta is equal to what is our opposite 13 over hypotenuse what is our hypotenuse 14 so 13 divided by 14 will give us that means that sine theta is equal to 0 0.9286 for us to find theta from here, what we are going to do is to take the sine inverse of both sides. So, taking sine inverse of both sides, this is how to write sine inverse. Sine inverse of sine theta is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.9286. Okay, so what sine inverse we do is to cancel sine so that we are left with theta is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.9286. Okay, so using your calculator, you just press second function, that is the shift button, shift, then sign. That automatically will give you the sine inverse. But if you are using the four figure table, is to do the opposite of how we normally read the values of the sign of a given angle. So that will give us 68.2 degree. The angle that the ladder must be kept in order to reach the top must be at, must be on angle of elevation of 68.2 degree. Once we're able to understand this, definitely you'll be able to understand more advanced complex ones so if this is your first time on this channel you have not subscribed do well to hit the subscription button like the video and share with your friends that this study this topic is going to help see you in my next video thank you for watching